I was diagnosed with high blood pressure, but uh, I had to be on uh, heparin uh, shots. I took the shots um, every day uh, from about four weeks pregnant to the end of my pregnancy and then uh, five weeks after the pregnancy. I was at risk for, uh, you know, high blood pressure for myself and, you know, as you come down from having the baby, you have to make sure that your blood pressure is lowered um, slowly after the baby is born. So that's why I had to take the shots for about five weeks after the baby was born as well. Um, but our baby Wyatt went to uh, 38 weeks and my blood pressure was completely fine throughout the whole pregnancy. Wyatt is probably one of the happier happiest kids I've seen. Um, he, uh, he's eight months and he's just starting to uh, yell and talk. Um, <laughs> he's got two little teeth down here and he has two fangs and that's all he's got. He's a happy kid. He gets a little fussy at night uh, when he's ready to go to bed. Uh, but prior to that, he giggles and laughs and he laughs at his older brother and he's, he's a very, very happy kid. We've been lucky health-wise. Um, he just got a little sniffle for the first time in eight months, and he sounds like a little dragon. Um, <laughs> but other than that, he's he's been great. And healthy it's, baby. Yeah, healthy, heavy Hunter, baby. 125 percentile. <laughs> Height and weight, so he's a chunk. So yeah. To have him in your hands, to everything that we went through, everything that she endured, um, the emotional roller coaster that we were on, highs and lows. Um, to see him there in the flesh was um, there's there's nothing better. Than that. You're, it's, you're yeah. paranoid, you know, the whole time because there's risks, you know, so you, <clears throat> you have a little bit of anxiety the whole time. I would say if you uh, find out you're pregnant and you are um, older than 34 or 35, you should go in right away instead of waiting and, you know, waiting to go to the doctor because it's a little bit more serious and they can find out, you know, things that you need to be on beforehand that make your pregnancy go a lot, you know, a lot better. Yep, this is Wyatt. He's our little big bundle of joy. Uh, Wyatt Daniel McKean, and uh, he's a ham. Um, he was born May 31st, 8, uh, 7 11 at 1032. Um, <laughs> And uh, he was our, he was a, a surprise. We didn't know the sex. He was a surprise, and um, the best baby. the best surprise we could have asked for. And uh, yeah, <laughs> love him to pieces.